Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh K YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to use copy and copy special options in Tecla Structures 2023 version. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla Structures with Indian Environment. Initially, we need to create views. So, select this grid. Right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. And type here, elevation on grid. Similarly, type here, elevation on grid then click on create then click on ok and ok ok off this direct modification we don't require this option now we're going to place the column at here so click on steel and select this column and click on here to place the column here right click on interrupt use the shortcut control 4 for render view and double click on this column and now we're going to change this profile. Currently we have ISMB 400. Now we're going to change into ISMB 300. Apply OK. Click on modify to see the result here. You can see now this column should be ISMB 300. Now we're going to change the bottom level. You can see now we have minus 500. That means uh, ground from ground to bottom we have 500 level downward direction. So now we're going to make it 0 and upward direction also we're going to make it 4000 millimeter then click on modify you can see now this column length should be 4000 millimeter now close it and click on space right click on mouse redraw view now we're going to use the copy option so select this column then right click on mouse you can use this option copy or you can use shortcut control c now pick you can see in the title you can see pick the origin for copying that means uh, you need to copy from here so select this origin point now where you want to place the copy you need to pick the destination point to place the column where you want to place it for example we're going to place here and place here similarly we're going to place remaining grids just click on it at gradient section point to place the column and I'm going to place here and click on here and click on here to place the column click on escape to exit the command click on space right click on mouse redraw view you can see you can copy like this Control z for undo like this in our second example we have copy special option so select this column and right click on mouse copy special linear you can use this option to copy very quickly so the the copy special is the easiest way to copy the columns now going to see how to use the copy special option okay before that we're going to see the spacings here so click on window and select this view list and click on here planet zero and open here currently we are in planet zero option you can see currently we have column at this location uh, double click on this grid to open the grid property window you can see in x and y direction we have a base spacing is 6000 that means the spacing between a to b grid is 6000 and b to c is 6000 similarly 1 to 2 is 6000 and 2 to 3 also 6000 you can see this x direction means in this direction base spacing 6000 and in y direction you can see in y direction also we have spacing 6000 if you want to measure the spacing between the grids you can use the option click on edit and click on here measure and set this horizontal distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point and place it here click on here first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension similarly in vertical direction also click on here and set this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point at green section and click on here to place the dimension similarly pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension you can see we have 6000 6000 and 6000 and 6000 here right click on mouse interrupt uh, to erase this checking dimension click on space right click on mouse redraw view to refresh the window to erase this checking dimensions now click on window and select this 3d view now we already know that the spacing between this uh, these grids are 6000 in all direction so you can use the copy special to place the uh, this column so select this column and right click on mouse and copy special and linear now you can see initially these are the previous dimensions click on clear to see the fresh values so now coming to here now we need to place this column 
at this place and this place in x direction you can see the global axis axis we have x direction we need to place here and here we already know the spacing between these two grids are 6000 so we need to enter here in the dx x direction 6000 uh, between grids and number of copies we need to place one column and two and two copies so we need to enter here number of copies two then click on copy to place the columns you can see now we have two columns here click on ok right click on mouse interrupt and click on space right click on mouse redraw view to refresh the window and use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this you can see now we have columns here similarly we're going to place these three columns in in this row and in this row uh, along grid 2 and along grid 3 so just rotate like this and drag and place select these three columns by using left mouse key and drag and place it then right click on mouse copy special linear and click on clear to erase the previous values now we need to place here we already know the spacing between this along one grid and two grid is 6000 and similarly two to three also 6000 so now we need to copy in y direction you can see in global axis y axis we need to move copy in y direction so we need to enter here value in dy let's type here 6000 we already know the spacing between the grids are 6000 and the number of copies we need two that means these three are copy here and here so number of copies two and type here two and then click on copy to place the columns like this right click on mouse interrupt you can see now we have columns like this copy special is the easiest way to copy all columns like this with the same property you can see now all columns are same oh we have ismb 300 and values are thousand and four thousand like this okay this is the copy special option in copy special especially linear now coming to the rotate so now we're going to go to planet 5000 so click on window and select view list and let's take planet 6 5000 click on arrow to open currently we are in planet 5000 you can see in the title planet 5000 so now i'm going to place the beam at this location so click on steel and select this beam and pick the first point here and pick the second point click on here to place the beam right click on mouse interrupt click on window and select this 3d view you can see now we have beam at this location at level of 5000 from ground level so click on window and select this planet 5000 now we're going to copy this column with the rotation angle 45 degrees we need to place the column at here sorry we, we need to place the beam at here uh, with the angle of 45 degrees then select this beam then right click on mouse copy special we need to use this option rotate and click on clear then we need to pick the origin point about which point to rotate the beam copy so click on here to load the values of you can see now we have load these values so we need only one copy so we need to enter here one and the rotation angle is 45 degrees in anti-clockwise direction so we need to directly type here 45 degrees then click on copy to place the beam here click on copy ok right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redraw view to refresh the window you can see now we have copy this beam with the angle of 45 degrees if you want to measure the angle between these two beams then click on edit and click on here measure and select this angle and pick the first point here and pick the second point here and pick the next point here you can see now we have angle 45 degrees right click mouse interrupt and click on ctrl z to undo click on space right click on mouse redraw view now in our second example we're going to place the two copies with the equal spacing of 30 degrees angle then select it then right click on mouse copy special rotate and clear the values now we need to place the origin here so click on here to place the origin values will be loaded here now at this time we require two copies and the spacing is 30 degrees then click on copy and ok you can see now we have two number of copies and the angle between these two beams should be 30 degrees so now we're going to measure so click on measure and select this angle 
and pick the first point here and pick the next point here and next point here to see the angle it is in overhead 30 degrees similarly we're going to measure this angle also so pick the first point and next point here and next point here because you know we have 30 degrees angle the will must interrupt you can see we will place like this for example in our second example you can see for example we're going to place the another beam so select this beam and we're going to place first point here and second point to place the beam right leg must interrupt if you wanted to place in clockwise direction that means we're going to place the beam at here with the angle of 45 degrees then select this beam then right click mouse copy special rotate and clear the values and we need to pick the origin point so pick at here about which point to rotate the beam for copying so we need to click on here and number of copies we required one and in this time we're going to rotate in clockwise direction that means we need to enter here negative value that means minus 45 and click on copy and OK, right leg mouse interrupt. You can see now we have 45 degrees in downward direction like this. Okay, that's about how to use copy special rotate. Now coming to the next point, click on it, right click on mouse. We have copy special mirror. So for that example, we need to create one column at here. So click on window and select this 3D view. And now I'm going to change the column property this one so click on window and select the planet zero and zoom it here okay for example we're going to take this column you can see now we have this column at one c grade so now we're going to change this column profile so double click on it currently we have ismb 300 now i'm going to change this profile so click on here profile catalog and minimize it you can take uh, C profile, U profile, or this one. Uh, for example, we're going to take C profile. Uh, we're going to use the standard profile ISMC. You can select from here. Otherwise, you can use this option also. You can click on here and click on here, and we're going to check take here ISMC column to load this property. Click on modify. You can see now we have ISMC column like this. Now I'm going to change this position of this column so horizontally we're going to make it here left to move left side now we're going to move this column further uh, 10 millimeter left side so you can enter here 10 millimeter spacing you know horizontally left side click on modify you can see now this spacing should be 10 millimeter close it and click on space right click on mouse review now we're going to change this color so double click on it uh, let's take this color red plus two and close it now i'm going to measure the spacing between this grid to this column sp face uh, spacing so click on edit and select here measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point at the corner of this face column and pick the second point on this grid and click on here to place the distance you can see now we have 10 millimeter spacing between the grid and this column our case our example is we need to mirror this column on other side with the spacing of 10 10 millimeter on right side of this grid so select this column then right click mouse copy special mirror and now we need to select the mirror line or clear this default values now we're going to mirror this column so we need to select the mirror line so before that we need to select this option snap to nearest point to select the picking point on grid so pick the first point on first point on this grid and we need to pick the second point on same grid somewhere distance here so click on here now default values will be loaded in this box so click on copy to mirror this column then click on expand then click on ok right click mouse interrupt and zoom it here you can see now have mirror this column like this copy special mirror option by using copy special mirror option okay now i'm going to measure the spacing between these two columns that should be 20 millimeter you can see 
pick the first point and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension you can see now we have 20 millimeter that means the from grid to left side 20 10 millimeter and from grid to right side 10 millimeter you can use this copy special select this column right click on mouse copy special mirror to mirror this column like this now click on window and select this 3d view you can see these are the ismc indian standard metal channels use a shortcut control r and pick the rotation point then use the control on mouse middle button to rotate like this you can see now we have columns like this back to back channels with a spacing you can use this option like this okay okay that's it about how to use copy and copy special linear rotate mirror in tecla structures 2023 version if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please subscribe my channel then sk youtube channel okay thank you